Hey there, YouTube. I'm back again for another episode of Bower Spotlights, where I spotlight a different game crafter game every single month. I take a real deep dive into that game, and this month it is Obelisk, which is for one to four players. Ages 12 plus take about 30 minutes to play, and right now we're about to play a solo game of Obelisk. So I'll hopefully teach you the rules as we play through the game. Now, uh, in Obelisk, this is a cooperative game where you are in charge of getting rid of all the demons that are going to be coming from the Dark Realm, which is actually the bottom of the box right here. Uh, we're playing the normal game, which has 12 yellow, 12 blue, and 12 green. I believe, actually, it might be the easy game. Uh, that's what we're playing with right now. And how we're going to do that is by placing these. These are going to be the totems. We're going to be placing these on our turns, sucking up these demons. And by sucking up the demons, it'll allow us to upgrade our obelisk and put them into our quarry over here. But let's just get into the game and show you how it works. I do want to mention that I'm not using any of these cards right here that are the scrolls. Those are for more advanced gameplay. If you guys really like this video, I might do another one uh, going over some of the advanced gameplay. But we've got it set up for a one-player game. Let's rock and roll. Now, I do want to mention this is my first time playing, so I might have to hit the rules from time to time to really give you a feel for how everything works. So, uh, on your turn, first thing you're going to do, and they actually have these really nice player guys, turn order, day phase, all players perform actions. So, here's our action card right here, and these are the four actions we can perform. First one is we can place an obelisk, and we place it on the corner of every card. So I can place it here, or here, or here, if I really wanted to, even though I don't think that would be the greatest idea. Ignore the colors in a solo game, because all these dice are mine. I'm just going to pick whichever ones I want. I can't place it off the board. Uh, but yeah, so you can place that, and that will suck up demons. And I'll explain uh, the strength of the demons, which is on this card here, in a second. Next, you can go mining, and how you do that is you just go into the supply, and you get yourself a green one of these. Or you can also use these, too. I like how they uh, double-use these components, potentially. And that goes over here in your quarry. And why do you need those on your quarry? Well, we'll skip the rotate three tiles, and we'll go down here. And this allows you to upgrade your obelisk, and you have to turn in a set. So either four greens three yellows, or two blues. Now, blues are also wild, and luckily enough, we started with one random blue on here, so we have a wild. That's some good luck right there. Or you can sacrifice an obelisk to upgrade an obelisk, uh, but only by one. Now, you're going to need to upgrade these obelisks to catch the different demons, as you'll see in a minute. Uh, next, we have rotate three tiles. This is really quite simple. You take a tile, and you can rotate it in whatever direction you want, because this is the direction that the monsters are going to be going along their path. And... How do we win? How do we lose? Then we'll actually get into the game. So if we can defeat all of the demons, we win the game. However, if any of the demons go into uh, these mountain spots right here, or if they go off the board, or if they ever backtrack and they cover a card that they've already covered, well, then we die, and it's game over. But let's get it started. Let's get going. So in a one-player game, which is what we're playing right now, I get to take three actions. So let's see. This is the portal. So this is where the bad guys are going to start spawning. And wow, they would immediately just bloop go off the side. So I feel like it's pretty important to rotate three tiles. And that will be our first action. And we're going to rotate this tile so that it's going down. And then also the green token goes off into the supply. Uh, so I can't rota rotate this tile ever again. Uh, then we're going down, 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 up. That's a problem. So for our second tile, we'll rotate this one right here. And then for our third one, I feel like this is kind of a no-brainer. We'll do that one right there. So that was action number one. Action number two, I feel like it's pretty smart to place an obelisk. So... We'll take a nice little black obelisk, and we'll put one right here. We'll start sucking them up right as they soon, as soon as they come out the door, uh, because they can suck any of the uh, any of the demons off in the. Ooh, that was weird. Any of the demons off in these four spaces right there. So we've placed an obelisk, we've rotated tiles, and then what do we want to go do next? Uh, I feel like rotation is a good idea. But at the same time, I kind of want to go mining, but we can go mining later. Let's let's do another rotation action. Uh, since we're playing a single player, uh, since we're playing a solo game, I can do rotation more than once. Normally, there is some rules about uh, your actions, but in a solo game, not so much. So there's one, and then we'll go right. Do we want to go up? Yeah, let's go up. Mm, yeah, we'll go up. So two, and then rotate you. 
And that is three. Okay, so we got a good start going on here. We've taken our three actions, so let's take a look at our handy gandy card right here. And the night phase. Obelisk captures demon at any time during the night. Demons move. Furthest along the path move first. Spawn demons at the portal and move spawn demons. So what does all that mean? That means that we are going to spawn six demons out of this box right here. So let's just... and, and you, It says you want to have something to cover it, but let's be honest. I can just not cheat. I mean, that's currently a thing I could do. One, two, three, four, five... Six. You can't see my face, but I'm totally not cheating. So let's see what we got. We got ourselves three greens, four greens, and two yellows. That's not a bad start. So, uh, oh, wrong one. Right here, it will show you how much they move. So the green ones, who are very weak, they only have a strength of one, get to move four spaces. So these green guys, they spawn. Psh, 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 we can just all do them at the same time. Spawn, and they go one, two, three, four. But here's the thing. Along the way, your obelisk is allowed to catch one of them. So what can I catch? Well, that's when we take a look at the strength. So the green ones have a strength of one, the yellow ones have a strength of three, and the blue ones woo, have a strength of five. They're big dogs, but they move slow. So I can only catch one demon per obelisk, so I will decide to capture this guy, Greg, right here. Uh, now, what's also important is I have a strength of one. I need a one to capture him, a one or greater. I cannot capture him here or here because these spots have negative ones. So obviously he doesn't get there. So uh, I'm going to capture him in this spot right here. And that's important to note. So we still go one, two, three, four. And now we have three greens over here. So now the yellows, take a look at the yellows. Their movement is three along with their strength being three as well. So they go one, two, three. And I could not have captured either of those uh, for two reasons. First, once you have something on top of it, that obelisk is done for the night. And secondly, I'm not up to a three. So, that's the entire night phase. Now, uh, you'll see the next night phase. So, we're not going to explain it too much. Clean up. Captured demons are moved to the quarry. So, hooray, I have captured one demon. And now... We don't really need to cover that up anymore. We move on to the day phase, where once again, I get to choose three actions. So these guys are moving fast. They're moving real fast. I feel like we absolutely need to put um, a die here. Maybe here. Move it there. We'll move it there. So we'll put... Oh, that, that, that double dips the chip. I don't want to double dip my chip, but I do want to suck them up fast. So I'll do one right there. So they're going to go one, two, three, four. They're getting close to the danger zone. So we're going to do rotate three tiles again. So we'll rotate this one right here. A four, a one, a two, and three. So we got ourselves a nice path going. I don't think the path is something we need to worry about too much. It seems like, uh, but I could see in a four-player game, you're like, I don't want to move the path. You move the path. That sort of thing could happen. So I've taken two actions. I've placed an obelisk. I've rotated three tiles. I could go mining, but I don't feel like it makes any sense. Uh, I can't upgrade currently unless I want to sacrifice a die, which I don't feel comfortable with. In fact, I'm just going to put on another die. And we are going to double dip our chips. We're going to suck up everything along the way. Yeah, I'll put it right there. I think that's a good spot, even though that's a dead zone because we're never going to use that. But hey, we'll still put it right there. And those were my three actions. So now we move on to the night time. And uh, we're going to capture things. Now here's what this means. Demons move. Furthest along the path move first. So the green ones actually move before anybody else. So they move one, two, three, four. And I can't catch them there because it's a negative two. So suck him up right there. And then suck him up right there. That's nice. So one, two, three, four. Oh, no. One, two, three, four. Wait, wait, here. Yeah, wait. One, two, three, four. So we're right here. So that was that was solid. We we did what we wanted to do. We sucked up that guy right there. Uh, he is still moving along, which stinks. So I'm going to have to put one there. But we'll get to that when we get to it. Next one along the path is the yellow. Which is move three. One, two, three. They're unharmed, but I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you next round. All right. Uh, and then we spawn six more. Now I'm really banking on the fact that one of these six is going to be green. Because if not, that obelisk goes unused. Which stinks. So we'll grab one, two, three, four, five, six.
six. Let's see what we got. Uh-oh, uh-oh, come on, green. Oh, no, that stinks. Okay, well, that's a bummer. Uh, so, first thing we do is the yellow are going to move three. So we got a huge, oh my gosh, all those blues. <laughs> one, so they spawn here, then they go one, two, three. And these guys only have a movement of two. They spawn here and they go one, two, and oh my good gravy. That's a big pack of bad guys. But the good news is it's the end of the night phase and I can do some mining tomorrow. Or not mining, I can do some uh, upgrading tomorrow because I've captured these two right here. Bloop and bloop. And I take my three actions. So let's see, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? <sighs> I feel like we do want... To... So here's the thing. We can... We can... Uh, we can... We can stop messing with the tiles so much as long as we captured this guy. So I think we should put the final obelisk maybe right here. Right here. This is a good spot. I think this is a good spot. Right here. So I'm going to place an obelisk right there. So that way it's automatically going to catch this guy when he gets to this space. We can just not worry about him. And we can focus on this huge mob of blues and yellows coming our way. So we have two more actions. We don't need to rotate tiles. So let's reinforce one of these bad boys. Question is, which one do we want to reinforce? So we spend the four, and I feel like um, I feel like this is the this is a solid choice. It does have the dead card, but I feel like this is a very solid choice. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade that to a level two. So now I could rotate tiles. We don't want to do it. I could go mining, which isn't spectacular because here's the thing. When you go mining, you only get to get a green one. You can't get the yellows. You can't get the blues. It's no random draw. You have to catch them the old fashioned way. And I feel like now's the time to sacrifice this die. Let's start catching some yellows. I am bumping this up to a three. Here we go. This is where you die. This is where you die. All right. We did our three actions, correct? Yes, we upgraded twice and we placed that last one. So let's head on to the nighttime phase. This guy's the furthest along and he goes one, two, three, four. We're just gonna let him be. Uh, then we have this one going two. So can't catch you, but you get, so oh, are so, oh, they going three, sorry. One, two, three, but we did capture that. So that's great. That yellow one is gonna come in real handy eventually. Uh, but that guy's moving a little bit faster than I would like him to. He scares me just a smidge. Uh, so then these guys go. One, two, three. Then these guys all go two. One, two. All right. So surely we're going to get a green here because uh, I would like to capture a green, please. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm seeing why you don't want to have too many of those lined up real early. But we did get our green. We get one green? We got one green. Golly, the three blues. All right, so the three blues, the yellow, the green, and the blue, the green one moves first. They go one, two, three, four, and we're going to say they got sucked up right here because I don't think it really matters where they get sucked up at this point because we only have one green. I was hoping for two. Next, we have the yellow, which goes one, two, three spaces, and then the blues, which move once again. One, two. And we got a lot of blues. We really got to focus on upgrading. Uh, everything's moved. We've spawned our six. And now let's collect our tokens over here and place them into the quarry. We do not have enough to do what I want to do. Because what I would really like to do is upgrade something with three yellows. We only have three yellows, even though we do have the one wild blue. So uh, what to do is the question. And I see the issue with this game, which is I don't know what to do. Do I want to sacrifice another die? Because I could sacrifice two and this could start this could start eating people. Or I could bump this up to a three. Or I could go, ah, ah, the choices, the choices. But then that only gives me two dice remaining, which is not great. Holy moly. Okay. I think we do it. I think we I think we I think we turn this into the five. I really do. I think that's I think that's what we have to do. That'll give us a blue too. We're gonna get a blue for next turn by doing it. Ah, I committed. I committed. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Alright, five. So we still have two more actions. Uh or we still have one more action, excuse me. So let's get this out. I'm gonna get this one out because I don't wanna spend you. I don't wanna spend you. So where are we gonna be keeping uh Oh no! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That could have been real bad. Holy moly. Uh, yeah, we are going to move three. Oh, man, that just about happened. One, uh, two, 
and three. We just about lost. <laughs> All right. Or I just about cheated because I might not have noticed it. Uh, but okay, there we go. That's our three. Let's go ahead and start moving things. So this guy, one, two, he gets sucked up by that, which is dandy. Um, we're going to let you go because this five has bigger fish to fry. So this guy will go one, two, three. He's going to be a problem, though. Then we got one, two, three. We have one, two, and yes, thank you, please. Uh, one, two, three, hey, and then one, two. And I'm really regretting that right there. That was such a poor choice. Or I should have upgraded. Oh my gosh, I should upgrade that one to a five. Oh man. Okay, okay, okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, yeah, we draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two greens would be spectacular. And I see two greens. I see, okay, four greens. Nice. So let's move the four greens first. They are going one, two, three, four. But he does not make it. And he does not make it. That is great. That is really what we needed there. Uh, we got the three yellows, so one, two, or the one yellow, excuse me, and then the blue, which only goes two. Okay, and then we collect, and we got ourselves a nice haul here. Very nice, very nice. So that's going to make upgrading a lot easier. Um, so we have four greens, so let's trade them in, and let's do our first upgrade. Turn this into a six. <laughs> no, that'd be stupid. That would be so dumb. Um... So now is the question. I feel like this one needs to get some love because we absolutely need this one to be a beefed up. So let's bump that up to two. And then I think we're going to bump it up to three by turning in two of the blue wilds. And now that one's up to a three. And that makes me feel a lot safer. That makes me feel a lot safer for now. Uh, we still have one more action. We turn in the two blue. Uh, oh no, those are dice. So I'm kind of thinking we should place an obelisk. Because we don't really need to worry about this just yet. We've bought ourselves some time, so I think we're going to place an obelisk. And uh, we'll place it right here. No, we'll place it right... Let's place it um, right there. Just to catch any any riffraff that might go through. That does leave us with only one die left, which, which I find a little bit troublesome. A little bit troublesome. Maybe I should put it down here. <laughs> Because the greens aren't going to make it there, and I need more time to upgrade it. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put this all the way down there. So that's where that one's gonna go, and that's our three turns. Let's move on. So first thing first, one, two, three. You get eaten up. Boo! Yeah, that's that's nice and tasty. That's nice and tasty indeed. Let's put it right there because my felt table kind of messes that up. One, two, three. They are coming though. That's a problem. Uh, Four, so, wait, how did you get here? Oh, that's the obelisk, I'm a noob. So move this guy first, one, two, three. Uh, this gets whoop, sucked into the void. One, two. And what else do we have? One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, um, these guys move up. We'll just keep them in one stack. One, two, three. Uh, so he gets sucked up right there. No, he would actually get sucked up. One, two, three. He'd get sucked up right here. Four. So he's running. He's he's running. We'll, we'll catch him. We'll catch him. And last but not least, one, two. And I think we are getting pretty low in the box. So let's just grab one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. Can't count. So yeah, we're running pretty low in the box. That's good. That's good because that's how we win. So what do we got left? We got, no, no greens again. Ah, we got two blues, which are going to go two spaces, and the yellows, which will go three spaces. The more I play this, the easier this is as well, this whole thing. It looks like it's a lot, but it's actually not once you know what you're doing. So uh, what did I get? I got a blue and I got a yellow. That is perfect, kind of, a little bit, maybe not. That dice, I hate you. Wait, but he can. if I get him powerful enough, he can start sucking stuff on that spot. Hmm. Look, it's a negative one. Hmm. But he can still stay. Yeah. All right, let's see what we need. Uh, we probably want to bump up this guy. I think that's a solid choice. So we have three yellows. Let's go ahead and 
Turn to two yellows and a blue, which is a wild, and let's bump that up to a four. Actually, we have time to we have time to bump this one up. So I feel like we should bump this one up. Oh, we also got that. I think we should bump this up to a two. I think that one's kind of a lost cause. But I think this is the way to go. Uh, what else can we do? We got two more actions. I'm not really worried about anything. Let's go mining. I think mining might actually be our best course. As much as I don't want to do that, because I want to get this last dice out. Yeah. So there we go. We are back into the nighttime phase, and let's start moving things. So this is the closest. And it's going to go one, two, three, and it gets sucked up right there. So we'll just put that straight into our quarry. Because I know, nothing else is going to get there. Uh, and then we got this one. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, before they go, yeah, one, two. That guy gets sucked up in there. Which means, oh, all you guys. Oh, one, two, three, four. He's moving fast. I don't like how fast he's moving. One, two. One, two, three. Oh, this is looking dicey. One, two, three. I kind of wish I would have upgraded you. And one, two. And then we have the last six in there, so I can actually look at them. Not totally not cheating this time. So we got three greens, which is delightful. And we'll get one here. One, two, three, four. And we'll also capture... Oh, wait. We've been cheating. We've been cheating. We shouldn't have been able to suck up all these guys in this corner. Well, my bad. <laughs> Hopefully... Hopefully I haven't done that too often. I'm not sure how many times I've done that. Or if I've even done that, but I'm pretty sure I have at least once. So there we go. There's no more in the dark realm. If we could kill everything on this board, we win the game. But things are moving too fast, and I don't like it. So... Oh, I can't eat that guy right there! Oh, no. Alright, so I collect everything. So I get a green, a blue, and uh, a green and a blue. Hmm. And I think I would like to play this on a, uh, a smoother part of my table than I did pick, because this one has the felt popping up. All right, so what can we do? We have four greens. That's great. So we can upgrade something. I think we should upgrade this. This, maybe? Yeah, this is this is solid. Um, yes, that one. And then we're going to give you up. We're going to upgrade something else. Let's get, which, so that one's upgraded. Let's get this one up here. This is the last line of defense. This is, this is the, this is the last line of defense. We need that as high as we could get it. We, we might even consider that getting that one to six. Uh, and that is my second action. So we'll go mining. Much that I don't want to go mining, we'll go mining. And now, oh, we're getting to the end of the game. We're getting to the nitty gritty. All right, so first thing that happens is, oh, no! I lost! Oh god, I'm a noob! Let's play it out. Let's play it out, ladies and gentlemen. But I... Oh, the bookkeeping. I forgot about the bookkeeping aspect of it. That's I really like how that works. So, um, first thing we do is we move the furthest one away, and it's this one right here, which I would say I would suck him up. But no, I needed a four. I had to bump this one up and not that one up. Ah, oh, foolish! So foolish. <sighs> So I've lost, but let's let's just pretend that I did see it. Which I didn't, but let's pretend I did, and let's see how the game plays out. Because I would suck that one up. I would suck it up, obviously. It would go to the quarry, and then this one would go one, two, three, which is fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, which is scary. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. Uh, oh, I would obviously suck one off there. And then... Uh, one, two, three. One, two. Um, one, two, three, four. I, oh man, this is rough. I should have upgraded that. And we got one, two, three, and that one gets sucked up by this one, and then one, two. So we picked up quite a few good stuff, and now we can do our thing. So the obvious thing we have to do is we're going to spend three yellows to upgrade this to a five so it can catch it so that one's going to catch that uh we absolutely need to set up a runway for this so one two three 
So that is the end of the track. But luckily this green one's gonna get caught by here, right there. So the yellow and the green will be taken care of, but we do have this yellow one coming down. And then we have one more action. We have two blues, so we should definitely upgrade something. And um, I feel like it's gotta be this. I feel like it's gotta be this. As much as I wanna upgrade one of these, I feel like it's gotta be that, even though, yeah. All right, so nighttime phase, what happens? This one gets sucked up right there. This one gets sucked up right there. So these two cannot be used. We just have to remember that. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. None of those get sucked up, that's rough. One, two, three, four. Oh, this is bad. That can get sucked up right there, which is great because it is nothing, no penalty. That one can get sucked up right there. And then we got one, two, which means I'll be able to suck up one of these on the way out. One, two, and that's what we got. But I think we, I don't know, it's going to be really close. <laughs> so we captured the yellow, we captured the blue. We already talked about uh, the things we captured over here. So we have three yellows, so that's one easy upgrade. So we're only going to be able to upgrade one this time. That's rough because the other action we can take is we're going to go mining twice. But, oh, that's not going to be enough, I don't think. But we still have one more upgrade. Uh, but we got to decide what it is. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna, okay, it's this one right here. Let's do this. It's got to be that one. Got to be that one. Okay. Back to the monster phase. And this is, this is getting real snappy right now. Uh, so, first thing that happens is this guy goes one, two, and then he gets sucked up there. And then this guy goes, sucks up right there. This guy goes one, two. That's scary. One, two, three. That's even scarier. And that's that's dead. We're done. We're done. Ah, but we'll play it out. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're toasted. Wow, we got crushed here. <laughs> one, two. Uh, but we'll suck that one up before he goes. One, two. And you're useless, you three. So at this point, I would have uh, this extra blue, which is nice because we can upgrade this to a four and then we'll even upgrade it to a five, but it's still not gonna be enough because as you're about to see, one, two, three, four, we could capture both of them, but even then it's, it's not gonna buy us enough time to capture everything else. Maybe it would. Let's play it out. Let's play it out. So we'll capture this here. We'll capture that there. Even though that is such a waste. And it makes me so mad. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, yeah. So best case scenario. Yeah, we're, we're done. Oh, the Dark Realm has defeated us. But that is Obelisk. If it looks like it might be your cup of tea, be sure to check out that link down below. If you're enjoying what I'm doing, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below or consider supporting the Patreon down below. It makes my audio, video, all that stuff better. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.